Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see the future of industry. What is digital transformation? How the digital transformation is going to work? Let's we will see one by one. Digital transformation in the industrial sector that includes automation, data exchanges, cloud computing, robotics, AI data, analytical systems, IIoT, machine learning, etc. Digital transformation is a process that implements digital technology to create or modify the existing products, services and operations into digital formats. Digital transformation which improves the productivity and efficiency by connecting the smart devices and it will pull the data from anywhere in the plant. Also pull the data from the point in the history. We can generate the analytical system to view the data in the platform and perform the root cause analysis. It is easy to share with others, easy to use and also web based interface. Analytical system which performs the predictive KPIs. The analytical system which produces alerts on instruments, machines, lines, shops and plant KPIs. Currently, all the industries move to these technologies, which improves overall performance of all the industrial areas. Now, we are going to move the next session, which is demo of the future. We, are, we can tell that future of industry with advanced level. We can see here three levels, which is under percentage engineering efficiency, under percentage operational efficiency and under percentage future proofs. First, we will move with under percentage engineering efficiency. Once we order the equipments or products, it is time to design the engineering parts. Let us click the engineering parts. In this application, we can select the process which have many sections. Just drag and drop the main section into it. In this main sections, we merge the line between the two sections. It will connect automatically to each other. Now we will check hardware sections. Here we can select the machines in each area and go to the hardware sections and drag and drop to the selection. It will create automatically link with each other. After we complete these two sections, now we need to make a single line diagrams. How we will make? Just when you design a single line application, the new devices which are going to add with existing devices, which we can merge the line between the instruments. Once we deployed, it will be get automatically completed with 100% design of the engineering systems. Now we can move to the operational eff effectiveness. Uh, here we, we will set up the under percentage efficiency in this example the plant manager which receives the message from CEO or owner of the company. Then the plant manager assigns the engineering team. Here the automation engineer verify the IT applications and going to add the predictive and maintenance application. In this application we are going to check the performance quality and availability. Then they are going to check the OE is they are going to check the OE when we check the OE is down and we need to troubleshoot the system now the automation engineer now is going to find where is the exact issue and monitor the system and he troubleshoot the system after he troubleshoot we he can make the predictive analysis and check for two days in the next two days it will continue or not then he will make the program like that. Then he will find that everything is okay and every, everybody is satisfied with that one. And also he monitored for a one week as well to check the OE is okay or not. Then currently the OE is everything is okay. So he leave the system and he is they are monitoring now currently with the existing system. After two months the production line goes down and it's give alarm then again the plant manager he assigned that uh, engineering team to verify what is the issue there in the plant then the plant engine the automation engineer is going to check with augmented operator system through the tabs mobiles and find the issues in the machines 
they notify the issues by completing the analysis system. Now we check these things by under percentage operational efficiency. Now we will go, we are going to move with uh, future proofs or future efficiency. Here we are going to modify the equipment with the different vendors. Here there are many vendors have different specifications, but we need to add in one systems. Here what we will do, just we will collect, uh, connect the equipments by adding the equipments by drag and drop with existing system and merged with the system. Also the hardware sections, just we need to add the modules and change the configuration for the new system. After we complete the, all the hardware configuration and the modules, we need to add the graphics now. In the graphics part, you just need to connect the signals and uh, configure the ex with existing system. It will automatically connect to the ex uh, existing system. This connectivity and design is very easy to implement with the existing system. This is the future of new systems. Now we are moving from industrial 3 to industrial 4.0 because this industrial 4.0 which transforms the mechanical or uh, paper work into paperless work which is digital transformation. For all the automation engineers, instrumentation engineers need to be learn these technologies because this is our future of our technologies with connecting with smart solutions and also smart instruments through IIoT and we will see everything in dashboards everything because this is our future of all instrumentation or automation or OT or IT engineers. If you need more videos related to the smart solutions or digital transformation or artificial intelligence automation system instrumentation please comment me i will prepare the videos for you and also i will upload useful videos on regular basis thank you for watching this video if you like this video like this uh, video and make subscribe for my channel so i can upload useful videos on regular basis thank you